Hey guys, welcome to Zaxworks 3D Flag The Basics. This is video two, creating your first flag. This doesn't take long, so let's get right down to it. All right, so the first thing to always do in After Effects is create a new composition. We'll do that by going up to Composition, New Composition. We'll name it our first flag, make sure it's 720p, and click OK. Next, we'll create a new solid layer by going up to Layer, New, Solid, name it 3D Flag, Make sure it's the same size as your comp by clicking the Make Comp Size button, and also change it to some other color than black. Then click OK. Good, now we'll go to our Effects and Presets tab, type Flag, and drag our plugin onto our layer. And there you go. Just by adding the effect, we end up with a flag on a flagpole. Now this 3D flag acts like a real flag, guys, with wind blowing on it. So when I hit play, we can see it plays back very quickly with dynamic forces acting on it, like wind, gravity, friction, you know, stuff like that. Since it's affected by wind, we can change how the flag moves by changing the wind. Notice down here where it says wind speed, if we change this to zero, you can see the flag goes limp. Changing it to 50 makes the flag start flapping very hard like the wind is blowing rapidly. So zero, no wind, 50, a lot of wind. Got it? Good, pretty simple, right? Now, putting a picture on your flag is also easy peasy. First, import an image into After Effects by going to File, Import File, find your image, and click Open. Next, drag the image into the comp and turn off its visibility. It just needs to be in the comp for this to work. Next, select the 3D flag layer, go to the effect controls panel, and change the flag image menu to the name of the image you just imported. And that's it. The picture now appears on the flag. Also notice how the flag is automatically adjusted so it's the same proportions as the picture. Finally, we need to move the flag. This can either be done by creating an AE camera and moving the camera, or by moving the entire flagpole. To move the flagpole, you go to the effect controls and open up the transform twirly right here. Here you can see the pole position settings for X, Y, and Z position. Drag on them to move the flag. The X position moves your flag left to right, the Y position moves it up and down, and the Z position moves it forward and backward. Good, excellent, that's it for video two. Stick around for video three where I show you how to create other types of 3D cloth. See you soon.